think it's important to understand that there really isn't a lot of basic playing when it comes to Latin drumming. There's a lot of independence and coordination involved. In addition, I think it's really important to understand the difference between the styles in Latin drumming. I think a lot of people confuse them. Uh, the two most prominent styles under this umbrella is Afro-Cuban drumming and Brazilian drumming. Now, within the Brazilian style, you'll have uh, substyles like bossa nova, and samba, and batucada, and bayon. And in Afro-Cuban, you have separate styles like cascara and mambo and uh, Mozambique and Songo, and these are all terms that are important to sort of separate and understand the difference between the two as they really don't mix and they have a lot of differences. With all types of Afro-Cuban and Brazilian drumming, it's very important to understand that your limbs are taking the place of a variety of different players. Uh, in Afro-Cuban, you're taking the place of conga players and bell players and even clave in your left foot at times. And in Brazilian playing, you're taking the place of surdu drums, bigger drums, and um, different uh, percussion instruments in the Brazilian idiom. If you're going to start to work on the background of Afro-Cuban drumming, it's important to start with the understanding of clave and clave rhythms. The claves in general are two rosewood sticks about this long that are hit together to create this sound. And there are specific rhythms like son clave rhythm and rumba clave rhythm and 6-8 clave. And I'll give you an example of just one right now and I'll put it into a rhythm so you can hear it. If this is my tempo, a son clave rhythm and a 2-3 son clave rhythm, 2-3 meaning two notes in one section, three notes in the other, would sound something like this. One, two, three, four. Now there are a lot of ways to sort of base your rhythms off of that clave rhythm. A good starting point with Afro-Cuban is to understand a cascara rhythm for drum set. Cascara is a bell pattern that you would put on the shell of the drum or the hi-hat and you would integrate that clave into your playing. So this is pretty advanced but I'll play you an example of that so you can hear the clave in this rhythm. I'll be playing the cascara rhythm here, the clave rhythm here, and what's called the tumbao rhythm on my bass drum. One, two, three, four. And if you want to approach Brazilian, a good way of approaching Brazilian is maybe to start with a bossa nova. And a bossa nova is a very gentle style of playing where you play a foot pattern of boom, ch boom, boom, ch boom, boom in your feet matched with a straight time pattern in your right hand and then what's called a Brazilian clave rhythm in your left hand which is not exactly the clave rhythm but it's a variation of something you'd hear in Afro-Cuban rhythm and that would sound something like this one two three Again, these rhythms are a little tricky to play, but if you get them in your ear and you start associating with them, it's a good launching pad to how to go through these styles. 